Morning, I'm Paula from Ferris Chicken Emporium and today we are going to do this rather gorgeous drinks cabinet which still has all its original squeak and um, glass mirror and sliding door. So I'm not sure what we're going to do with the inside, might leave it as it is, um, but today we're going to concentrate on the outside. I've got this gorgeous wallpaper that I bought from b and and I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to decoupage with the wallpaper inside these really natural squares and rectangles that we've got going on. But first of all, I'm going to give the whole piece two coats of grey pebble. That's the first plan. So when we've got to that, we'll come back and show you where we're at. Right. Right, so we've done two coats of pebble grey all over, um, including inside the doors. We haven't painted in here because we know we're going to decoupage it, so we've left it. So that's fine, but I've made sure that we've got along the edges so that the wallpaper won't suddenly show brown bits there. So that's what we've done. Um, I've now got a little pot of um, crackle glaze. You can get it in most hobby craft places. And I'm gonna fairly randomly, and not particularly neatly, just spread it over the paintwork that I've done. It's important with um, crackle glaze that you do two solid coats underneath because the coat that goes on top um, isn't half as solid and it starts crackling almost immediately. So the top coat, as it were, is the only going to be one coat thick. You can't put a second coat on, so you need the coat underneath to be solid. So we're going to do this. I'm going to do this all over. Then I'm going to do one coat of whitey white which will start cracking almost immediately and then we'll be down to the uh, sanding down which is when we'll tidy it all up so that's about as much as I'm going to do for that area so as you can see there are areas where it hasn't I haven't put it on and I'm not worried about that because it doesn't it's not going to be a problem so I'm going to carry on and do that all over and then I'll come back right, right so we've given it a really good coat um, there is patches that it isn't, um, I don't know if you can see that for the camera, but what we've done afterwards is dry it with a hairdryer, it needs to be completely, completely dry, not at all tacky, so it's left a bit of a sheen on it, so you can see where it is and where it isn't, um, but that's important that it needs to be dry. So now I'm going to show you what to do, I'm going to use a flat brush for this, you can't go um, back and forth when you, you've got crackle, you can, you've just got to go for it and do one stroke, so there we go so I can't go back and forth otherwise I start shifting the crackle that's underneath it and it all gets messy so you've just got one chance to do the brush stroke and it's already starting to crack and um, obviously as it dries it will crack more and I could speed that up with a hairdryer so I'm going to go over the whole piece in exactly the same way, just one stroke with the paintbrush. And it is going to be messy and it will sort itself out when you get to the sanding stage, so don't worry. Okay, so once we've done the crackle all over, I'll come back and then we'll show you the sanding stage to tidy it all up and it will look a lot nicer. Okay. Right, so we have done all of the white and dried it thoroughly with a hairdryer and I've been using 120 grit sandpaper to distress it and get rid of all the lumps and bumps because it looks quite messy when you finish but it's coming together now. It obviously still looks messy because the the uh, little panels here haven't been filled, which is the next job. But we've taken back to make some very nice frames for the panel, and we've given the whole piece a rough rub down to get rid of any lumps and bumps. And actually, once dried, this crackle glaze is really quite solid, and it's not ruining it or taking it off or anything. So it's, it's, even though it looks very cracked and old, it actually feels really smooth, and you can use your hands to go round and find any bits that, that don't and give it a quick rub down and then it looks lovely. So quite pleased with the effect so far and now we've got to crack on and measure all of the sections to put the decoupage wallpaper in 
um, which I shall be using some PVA glue. But once, once we've done a bit more, we'll show you how we're going to put that in place. All right. Right, so we've done all the paper, and I just wanted to show you, I've saved the last bit to show you how I um, decoupage wallpaper. I don't personally put the glue on um, the paper itself because it would start soaking it up and making it bubbly. So what I do is use PVA and brush it on very thinly and evenly over the whole area that I want to stick it. So it's no good to just glue around the edges. You have to do the whole area, otherwise it bubbles up and just looks horrible. But the trick is to make it thin and even. So there we are, as much as a little as that. And then because it's PVA, I've got a little bit of time to move it around a bit if I need to. Now, as that slowly soaks up the PVA, even though there's only very little, it might bubble a little bit and you have to go back to it and rub it down. Um, and worst scenario, leave it because when it shrinks back down again, just like wallpaper after it's bubbled, it will, it will settle in nice and flat. So I think you'll agree. It looks absolutely lovely, just to bits with it. I think the wallpaper works really well. We've gone to the trouble of lining the bottom, um, just because it adds a little bit of extra. We did paint inside the doors. Um, we've got a drawer here, obviously. And then this is the inside now. It's got a catch. Look at that. So we decided in the end to leave the mirror because I think it actually adds some sparkle um, and just put the paper on the sides because it all reflects in the mirror as well and just adds to it. There's not a lot I can do about this drawer itself but it's okay, it's clean and uh, not marked. So thanks for joining me today, hope you enjoyed it and thanks for supporting me. Um, please follow my page and subscribe to my channel. My Facebook page is www.facebook.com forward slash The Emporium Furniture, which will take you straight to Fairy Chic Emporium. Thank you. Until the next time. Cheers. Strawberries, <laughs> cherries and an angel's kiss in spring. My summer wine is really...